and to H&R Block. H&R Block has an article that states that the federal government would save billions of dollars if they were to sort of crack down on the earned income tax credit fraud in which um, you know p people uh, that have income will take other people's kids and so forth and claim them and get that big tax refund. Now, I I'm not sure if uh, people understand H&R Block. H&R Block is international. They have operations in Canada, they have in America, and I'm not sure what it, where else. And probably they have a diverse portfolio, which they have a variety of other things, uh, money lending, especially for uh, refund anticipation loans and so on. Now, um, I had been a tax preparer. I had a tax operation in, in Canada, uh, downtown in Toronto, um, Tor uh, Toronto, Ontario. And they had several H&R blocks around. Now, I had a very neat, a niche marketing in which um, low-income people, I, I was kind of taking it over. And um, the f federal police over there, the RM RCMP, um, either H&R block got them to come and check me out or they discovered something that seemed as if it were a problem because many of my guys were homeless and um, they are allowed to file income tax they might have worked some are living in you know squall and so on you know re rooming houses etc and I will do their taxes free and when the money comes in I get paid so I might use my address on that so they would say that we saw all these refunds going to this one address therefore we honed, honed in it and, and decided to look at it but after investigation you'll see that there's no fraud you see a whole bunch of people coming in you know they're homeless folks yada 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 but the, the um, RCMP keep coming and I overheard from the RCMP they are having a discussion amongst themselves like this or the guy was so little quiet and talking to himself he said but H&R Block has all these outlets they hire a whole bunch of people they invest in rents and, and equipment and all that stuff we can't let one man kind of running them out of business so it seems as if H&R Block realizing that the clients were being siphoned off by me and they send them in to harass me and get me out of tongue. So the guys told me, say, man, why you don't close my business from here and go up that side, Jane and Finch. Now, Jane and Finch is where people from Jamaica and Africa, a, a lot of blacks are living up in uh, North York up there. Go up there and open your business as opposed to downtown because, you know, I had a new car, dressing a suit and so forth. And that was too much. So H&R Block got the government to come and shut me down because I was doing better than them. Now, further, H&R Block, okay, there's a, a, a rent rebate that Canada gave. If your income is about 6000 a year and your rent is about 350 or 300 to 350 a month, you're entitled to about 250 or $300 in income tax refund. But you have to have your rent receipts. They need to bring the rent receipts to me I see it, I do their income tax, and or sometimes they'd say they paid it, that's their problem, okay? Um, the government might call back and say, we need to see your rent receipts. Now, H&R Block also was in that same niche in these low, class, low uh, uh, income people. And what H&R Block would do is, when the government asks for rent receipts, I have to call the guys and say, bring your rent receipts, or I might have them on file. Take it down to the um, to the IRS over there, which they call Revenue Canada, and everything is good. But what H and R Block will do, they will take out. They have a receipt book in the office. They'll take out that rent receipt book and write up receipts and just send it into the government. And the government don't do anything about it because H and R Block is white, and also they're uh, sort of rich and, and they're supposedly doing a, a very good job. So what H and R Block would get away with, I can't even try it because they're gonna put me in jail. Another thing H and R Block was able to do is when. At one time, their guy in another state had given me permission to do refund anticipation loans with his money. And um, h and Block and the FBI got this thing going that I'm misappropriating the guy's money. Uh, the guy suddenly came in and did the audit, but he discovered there was no discrepancies. But uh, what would happen is, guys would come into me, I'll call the IRS or the Revenue Canada, they'll say, his account is good. When I give him the money, then they won't send a refund to say he has child support. Also, people will file at several places and they will make sure that all the work is prepared because Revenue Canada says that you can't submit the tax refund, the, the income tax to the government unless the guy has signed and has been paid. So what this guy will do is he go to several places and each will check with the government and it will discover that he hasn't filed as yet. And he's going to take a taxi and within half an hour he's going to go to all these places and collect his check. And then the first one that gets in, 
he's going to get back his money, but all the rest is going to be lost. But what H&R Block will do is, they will even send it in before they even pay him. So if it comes back, he has been paid while well, they haven't paid him. If it is accepted, then they'll pay him. So H&R Block now is trying to look as if, oh, he's so good. You know, we, we recommend how the government could save a whole bunch of money. When they are part of the problem. Because as a tax preparer, if they were to ask the guys and ask the, the serious questions, this child that you're claiming is your child? But then, I mean, what can they do? The guys say, yes, my child, child is living with me all the time. They can't do anything about it. Sometimes they know. Sometimes they might know. The, the tax preparer guy might know the guy and know that he doesn't have no uh, person, uh, no, no, no children or none like that. So for them to um, basically um, blame the government while they have a part in it where they could sort of well hey they're in the business of that doing tax fund if they're in the business also of trying to check and make sure that everybody is straight and, and these people are not carrying on that fraud they're also going to lose business so uh, i find it very hypocritical of uh, h and r block to come out and tell the government that oh they should reform stuff and so that uh they could um save all these billions with people that and, and, and i mean look these folks might be poor folks that are trying that i'm not saying they're right and uh, why h and block would be interested in that if they stop that they might lose business okay because when these guys put in two kids and so the income tax the refund might go up to i'm not sure it might be four thousand five and with their scale of things when they give them a rel and that they might get four five hundred dollars out of that so if this scum scam should go away they're going to be losing some revenue too all right, because most of these folks that are going to try that, we have these kids here and so on, going to want that money quick and they're going to go for RAL, which is most likely going to go to H&R Block because they're the most popular apart from Hewitt and so on. So um, I don't know how you're going to solve that problem. It's got to be the citizens have to be honest and say, you know what, this child is not mine. This child never lived with me for the year or no part of the year, therefore I will not claim that. But what else can the government do? The government is, you know, trusting the citizens and feel as if uh, this is in good faith. And sometimes they do a, a way in which they're going to do a, a sort of, um, what they call it, um, an audit. And they might catch some folks, but how, how can they perfectly um, solve that? Except the citizens stop it and people like H&R Block cooperate with them in helping them in this. Maybe indicate that I don't think this guy has this child. Do an audit on that. You know, but they won't do that. But you have to come back and tell the government that uh, you could save all these billions if you were just uh, watch how people claiming this uh, earned income tax credit.